morning and welcome to another episode of Love and Daily. I'm your host today, Benjamin, together with my co-host, Paula. How are you, Paula? Bonjour. Hello, man. The program. So apart from the usual five stories, we will also be having an interview with the BirdLife Monta CEO, Mark Sultan. But first, uh, let's dive straight into today's five stories. Adrian Delia rejects Bernard Gregg's shadow cabinet offer. Rapid COVID-19 tests launched in Malta as spike persists. Maltese man says he had sex with animals but is now seeking help. Malta defeats Latvia with last second goal. And bird life files legal action over secret missive hunting deal. Okay, Paula, do you want to no, start story, yeah, yeah, no, uh, oh. No, but it's the only story of political analysis. I didn't really know what the most serious attack was. When I read the report from the Shadow Cabinet, I was surprised that the serious meltdown was not the Westminster model. The first serious attack was the president who was not elected. He was not elected to the party. وهاد كيفهم لي إدرين دلي ورا تكشكير عليها ورا ثلاث سنين من هاي تولي بس دي كمان مثلاً سيرفا والويس يكون ريد هين بيش يرجع يسيب لي لون نفسه بلا بيرسونا بروفيسيونست اتشترا أو مثلاً شخص بكنا من هذا بلا سوربريزا اللي على الدين لوفيرتا وبيعمل كن يقبل البرنامج غير كي يكون علي في إدرين دلي عشان كن يتفقد شيء الفردة الجديدة اللي شو سام بدلو الوالية الفردة الجديدة اللي هم في البارتي في نفسه إنه نستوى شوية ديك اللي من كين اللي على اسمه اللي يدرين دلية أو من هاست اللي ما كروش يجي ترتاد دان الموت رزانيا من كارج برومنتي في البارتي في نفسه على استا ولا كوهت يا راس يك من نايل إنفولفمنت رتاع يدرين دلية دون إني سوم يشتري جويرس ولين البارتي في نفسه على استا Yes, um, indeed, um, Bernard Gregg's election into the party came with a flurry of uh, worrying resignations from the party. However, it seems like um, the, the, the majority of the, the party actually does want him there. So I can only see where his leadership will take the party. On to uh, our next story of the day, rapid COVID-19 tests launched in Malta as spike persists. So um, a medical company called Roche um, has... Uh, is producing rapid COVID-19 tests. So these are tests that show the results in 15 minutes. Now, these have a sensitivity of up to 96.52% and, and a specificity of 99.68%. Now, these numbers are based on 426 samples taken by two independent research facilities. Um, uh, now the exact price isn't yet known, however it is thought um, that they will be sold at a price less than 100 euro, however as we said this is not confirmed as of yet. Now this news comes at quite a worrying time um, in Malta's battle with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Malta's latest numbers show that yesterday uh, we had 93 new cases and 31 recoveries bringing Malta's total number of active cases to 881. Now that is a record number of active cases and unfortunately um, uh, these numbers show no signs of slowing down. Uh, yesterday Malta also uh, witnessed its 44th COVID-19 related death um, the victim being a 71-year-old man with underlying health conditions. What do you make of this news, Paula? Hello, the only comment that COVID has come at the top globally is that the science and technology has changed a lot. It's not just that the number of people, the number of people, and the fact that we have to go to the country, the boat, the concept of lockdown, مش هيك هون مود كيف إن صن نمري يكوش بلاستستنس هتكتر تستينج يو بالفاكسين اللي الدنيا كلها إذا تستنى في إثلو رابطة سويت لتيارة ويسبر اللي داون يبقى يكونوا مينستراتي من نستل بروفيسيوني ميديكا ويمشو زات ما درتي بتاعنا وتوري تاي تسا خش ما ندوش نجوف سيتوازيوني في كومباني فورس بريفاتي شو دا والرابطة سويت بيش يبريفينو للمبر الهدمة تخمو ولا كوارانتينا عليش كل هاتيا في اللي الكوفيد هو فيروس اللي أصلك برشانتستي دون ما دون ما عبدولو كابتو موت كيف نبدأ الفيروس لود في الجسم تال بنيدة من اللي يستيات امبرسيوني هزينا كم التست النورمالي تا بوزيتيف يو نيجاتيف 
ġifiri wieħed jistenna u jispera li dawet test sin tużaw mot tajjeb biex ma nkomplu xin hawdu il-borma. Nadu għasora kompetament differenti u li xin ta' għalajo xin min se maħħa lajn fil-bira fuq l-stazzjon nazjonal izgur li ħarb titlu da' xie maħu jidari li l-kaz tal-bneda mill-li t-tela l-qorti fil-xur li għaddew għalix in-qabat jabbuza sessualment min-naġa ma kienx kaz izolat, imma jidari li għawik ta' għis fajizna illi jazlu dan il-tip ta' għasta temp, najdulu għak, ma naħx jistejjahlu. Il-biraħ, persuna li t-kellem f-intervista fuq l-stazzjon nazjonali, fetaħ għalbu illi u għaw kol imur ma naċ, fejqal illi sabba aħjar illi imur ma naġa mill-li ma marra għali x-fi relazzjoni t-tijaw ma n-nisa kienu kolla edin jifallu bħek kienti iktar faċli illi jikollu naġa. Ovjament, wieħed xin jara, xin jil-kent ma li tuħra, ma ta' tisna t-korja bħalġi. Tis-xok jena għaruħe, kalix ma naħsib x-li jja l-alternativa għal metaj kollu k-relazzjoni t-tijaw ma n-nisa kienu kolla edin jifallu bħek kienti iktar faċli illi jikollu naġa. Nemmen il-li fej għabel forsi l-idea il-li konem pini uqtar ħarxa l-min jabbuza min l-animali tipo kien il-ġest idea sa naħseb u għasa l-zmin il-li vera nibdew n-implementa għa anke għalix kien jem mafukat il-li jammel ħsib interessanti li jekk man ħarxux il-pini malta ta' fi kolla n-nitxa ta' turizmu ta' n-nes il-li jidju f-pajizna biex jimorru mal animali għifiri għanke kħi turizmu għeti bħati zgur il-li ħat ma jrit il-li malta tiġin niċa ta' dan il-tip ta' turizmu naħseb li għan kwestjon għal ċiktar psikologika għu tidħol ta' fond u min iċħa nidħol minda kraspet pero turi kħi għaw malta għaw ħafna fajit li Of course, I think, as you said, I think it's pretty clear that um, this uh, has proven to be more of a psychological issue more than anything. Um, and I believe this case also sheds light on um, some of Monta's problematic laws in the sense that um, at the moment there is no law that actually prohibits um, uh, bestiality from taking place. Rather, um, the only um, the only the only charge that um, this that per that persons who pract practice bestiality can be charged with are actually animal abuse, and that is only if the animals were harmed in the process. So now I think it's time to call upon our, on call upon our authorities to really um, update these laws. On to some positive news. Malta yesterday defeated Latvia with a last second goal. So in what feels like the first time in ages, Malta finally emerged victorious in a compet... It was the first time in ages. Yeah, I think, I believe you're right. <laughs> um, Malta won a competitive football game away, away from home, um, for the f as part of the UEFA Nations League. So Malta celebrated a 1-0 win against Latvia, um, the um, player who scored the goal being Steve Borch, he's a right back and he scored the goal with a header. Now interestingly enough this is Malta's first away win since 2013, that's right we didn't win a single away game in seven years and this is also, um, <laughs> we haven't had four games undefeated, that is, that doesn't mean that we won four games, that is, we just didn't lose them. So we had four games where we drew three and we won one. Uh, we haven't had this streak since almost 40 years, since 1981. Um. <laughs> Proset li l-abdan van t-le t-siru fit-team nazjonali Malti nispera u li nikstru dan il-rekord li l-war bajn sena ma jint laħa u jalla ikon niktar nisi firhu bil-futbol Malti l-tana nifirhu bil-taliani, bil-inglizi, bil-ġermanizi, bil-kulħad T-i Malti farsi nibdew nifirhu ftit-fti baby steps Proset u kif kulħad t-juħu pjaj t-viva Malta T-viva Malta Nejbo l-laħar storja u li u kol se li konna n-tervista dwara minna u ftitta minu ti joħra biex namnu rikab dwar situazzjoni kolla li jġiġi bil-mizi bu blaħra ġbien naħna konna u ek formazzjoni jħna t-nejnu ġima loħra meta flavin dej li semmejna l-lewel darba l-agreement li kien dak zmin jieti prepara biex jifirma l-lum il-ġurnata firma il-gvern ma lefken kej biex jihdu xsib il-mizib u laħraċ għalla volja kien jem petizjoni jitu rezistenza għal dan il-ptejn mot partikolari għalix dak li kien inkluz fil-ptejn ma sarx publiku għabel ma ġif firmat pero jider il-li ber life malta kien ma koalizjoni spazzi miftuħa mu mix seri għallu għaddi għalix għalix 
kol il-bira hamru il-lisser jiftu ser jihdu passi legali sabbiġ dan il-ftejim jitwaqaf ħajedina aħjar għara dan il-film ma tisti jo ta' Bird Life sest Mark Sultana. Organizations like Bird Life have a dira and reserves like that. Why shouldn't FKNK have a custody of Mizjeb and Ahrash? Because you are wrong. Adira and uh, Simar are not of Bird Life. Adira and Simar are for the general public. Every, everything we do in Adira and, and, uh, and Simar, we do it for two reasons. One, because they are protected areas and the government has an obligation to maintain them properly. And we do all the work for him. So we do a favor to him. Secondly, we do it so that the public and 6,000 school children, unless there's a COVID pandemic, come to the reserves to actually learn about the beauty of nature. In, in Mizip and Ahrash, which are at least 10 times bigger than Simar and Adira, people are not going to be allowed to go in and enjoy nature. So there's a total difference. We do not kill anything from nature. We give to nature. We don't take anything from nature. So in reality, the question is a bit offensive because you're trying to compare bird life with FKNK. There's a big difference and they are not an NGO that work for the common good, unlike Bird Life Malta and the hundred NGOs that work for environment and culture. Mark, and thank you for joining us on this episode of Love and Daily. Um, we've got a few questions to ask you, first of all, about bird life as a whole and the current controversy surrounding the Mizip and Ahrash secret agreement. So. Um, to start us off, yesterday um, you said that BirdLife Malta, amongst other NGOs, will be taking legal action against this agreement. Can you, um, can you describe in detail exactly what this legal action will entail? Yes, uh, the first process started already a week ago, where we filed a judicial protest. And because in Malta, to start a legal action, you need to start off with what is known as a formal letter of disapproval, and this is one of them, so it's uh, the, ju uh, the judicial protest. Um, now we have our legal advisors, which are scrutinizing uh, the contract. There are things which seem to be um, unjust, um, but then it would be the court, and also depending on the legal advice that we have, on how to proceed further with it. Okay. Um, now, many people are saying that FKNK um, act within the laws. Um, now, what, why do you and why does BirdLife believe that FKNK should not um, uh, preside over this reserve? Okay, I'll just say that the first thing is that the FKNK is not the same as the FKNK, but the FKNK is not the same as the FKNK, but the FKNK is not the same as Pan makel lo mil jima lohra meta makin xem ftejim iffirmat. Sab tit nini lo meta makin xem ftejim, nis it talla wil orti talli dahlu l-mizib. U dal dikin wet meshin lahra. Xi jviri man nishat nifem, jeku sejim bidlu la fejt, jeku kum sejim bidlu la fejt. Pero meta talla wil orti, l orti dejem alti dom, l-lef kien kej, int komand kom lebda dritt fuq dik lart. Nana l-ura, tħoda kif tħoda l-istoria, la fejt in bidlu, issa l-bern id-deċida li tijom id-dritt ta lart. U hija ingiusta fuq is-soċjetà, għaliex is-soċjetà hija ħafna ikbar mill-kaċċaturi u hemm ġew kull ma jidħlu tliet mit kaċċatur. Ir-raġuni oħra għalfejn ma ħassux li l-FKN għandha dritt li timmaneġja post bħal dai, illi meta ikkaparratu illegalmenti ma kellha qitra minn xi Prim Ministri fil-passat, ħalliet ħafna l-legalitajiet isiru. Ġi ma kinitx kapaċi tmantni il-post u tiħoħsi fil-post, illa li xemġ ġew saru legalitiet kbar. U għallura dispeċini nisma li l-Lukas mikallef għu nek jitkellem u jiet aħna bħajje z-zajr. U nisa għandom jirrispettaw il-kaċċatur. Iva imma bil-kontra u koll. Aħna bħajje z-zajr u l-kaċċatur għandu jirrispetta l-publiku. Ma jinti ma sa xtejt isma għin nisma jitlu xem ġew min ħabba safety taħu. Għax l-lura bl-istez argument ma morrun kien. Għax fil-majistral jem il-kaċċa u għa park naturali. Dan li maħra jem il-kaċċa. Għawdex fil-widin li umma publiċi, ftijt en privati, jem il-kaċċa jitfi xet nejdu għana. Għet nammettu li l-kaċċa mi x-safety. U fil-istessħin, għet nejdu ma mil-mizib bis ma t-istax t-mur. Xin il-raġuni. U din jja l-uħfol kollu jġviri meta l-FKNK t-qabbel li għanda tifu l-artijiet għaxe man NGOs għandom l-artijiet u koll, rridu nifmu li l-FKNK ma t-għati xej l-soċjeta. Bħal l-issa għaddej jazerċizju ta' greenwashing biex nuru li l-FKNK jattamil ħafna xol pozittiv. ħaj introduċu l-barbaġan. Ej dunna min għatlu l-barbaġan min Malta. Għax barbaġan kini bejjet Malta. Il-kaċċatur jattlu minna ħajtuna dak li ħadu. Għet jieħti ħawlu s-siġar. 
tiex ngħidilkom kemm kisru siġer fil-forest tal-2000 u anke fil-miżib qabel ma ħadu huma sewa so, xhuma kienu jagħmlu ħafna vandaliżmu qabel biex mbagħad ħaduh iġri biex nifhemkom il-miżib kontra dak li qal Lucas is-siġar ġew mħawlin fin 1970s mid-Dipartiment tal-Agrikoltura flimkien mal-MOS illum BirdLife u l-SSCN illum Nature Trust u kien hemm anke l-scouts tal-Mellija u ta' San Juan jiġifieri u kien ukoll no hunting zone jiġifieri l-istorja ħadd oħroġ u anke l-Abu Malta naf iżgur li toħroġhom dawn l-istorja biex nifhmu anke l-istorja u għalhekk rridu nifhmu li l-gvern żbalja f'dan il-mument li jagħti artijiet kbar pubbliċi li s-sezzjoni żgħira ta' nies illi mhu qed jagħtu xejn lis-soċjetà ara kieku ta' li xi ħadd illi qed jagħmilha biex jgħin il-post jew kellha biex biex in-nies jitgħallmu iktar u jieħdu pjaċir bħal ma ta' pereżempju li l-laqdiet biex jimmaneġaw il-majistrat iva imma mhux bil-kontra Okay, um, and I feel like there's a bit of uncertainty into exactly what this agreement will entail. So can you explain how public access is going to be limited um, with this new agreement in place? From, from what I could <coughs> see from the agreement, which is not as clear cut as, as you're saying, there's a lot of grey gray mm-hmm, areas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, what I understand is that definitely there, is, there are small pockets of access to people all all day whenever you want from what lucas explained during his interview here he said people can walk through me but cannot stop because of their safety that is for me confusing mm-hmm. because how are you going to determine who stopped and who was walking and what action is you go- are you going to take because if i got a message on my mobile and i want to read it standing instead of walking so that i know where i'm walking I'm what I'm breaking. It, it's it's a bit of a gray, mm-hmm. a gray area. Mm-hmm. What is more confusing about this contract, this agreement, is that you have the government split in two. You have the lands and you have the environment. The lands is giving the privilege to have the the the, the land, and the uh, and the era the the environment is the one that puts the obligations. Instead of doing one contract like you usually do, you do two. And now you have the benefits coming from lands and the obligations you have to give to ERA on two separate contracts. The one of ERA, which is only an MOU, is not really binding, can be uh, diminished, can be taken away just by a month's notice of a letter. So today, FKNK can write to the Minister Farooja and tell him, we don't want those obligations, but we'll still have the land. And it can happen today, it can happen in three years' time. Mm-hmm. So these are all things which show how unfair this is. Okay, and on a separate note, um, BirdLife has long been fighting against uh, certain very heated issues. I mean, this year you have um, this issue with Aharash and Mizib. We've had um, debates about um, uh, spring hunting. We've had debates about strapping. Um, however, it seems like the law is consistently favoring the other side. Yes. Um, what do you attribute this to? Do you think it's time for bird life to maybe change its tactic? Or do you think this comes from the government's lack of understanding maybe? I think the Prime Minister has been given very, very bad advice, primarily from Minister Clint Camilleri, Ian Borch, and I think even most probably Minister Silvio Schembri, um, that have their, the lobby of hunters behind their voting power, it seems. So there is this, this issue. Um, Clint Camilleri is a Minister of Gozo. The Prime Minister decided that the regulations that conserve the protection of birds be administered by that minister. I mean, that in itself is just sending a blatant message of where, where we're going to. When you look at all the laws that have been changed from 2013 to date, they were all changed to weaken them, not to strengthen them. So you have a law and you do, you create loopholes so that people cannot, the, the law cannot be enforced. And these, these are the symptoms, and now we're seeing the symptoms. Now we're seeing the highest ever recorded illegalities mm-hmm. in Malta. We had 166 protected birds, and these are the tip of the iceberg. These are birds that people find and bring them to us. They're not the birds that were collected by the hunters, so there are thousands of those birds. And it's a pity that in our country in 2020, this government has taken it back to the 60s and 50s. Mm-hmm. That's when all these illegalities used to happen. 
Grazie a tutti, Mike, per il giorno di oggi. Ovviamente, la in Malta, un paese che non ti segue, che ci sono delle azioni che ti aiutano a fare le cose, ma non ci sono le contratti che ci sono. Il programma è molto bello, o forse ti aiuti a fare una cosa che ci sono tutti i giorni, il coffee break, il giorno di oggi, 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 il giorno di o